Welcome back to another episode of the Art Interception, where we say what needs to be said. Got a special guest, young man, make a name for himself. You know, big time corner, make do big time things. You know what I mean? First year the Pro Bowl, first year All Pro. Yeah. Locking them down. Welcome. PS2, Patrick Sustain is second. Yeah. We here, we In here. In the building. In the building. His aunt so, crib. At the crib. <laughs> yep. Kicking it on the podcast. So, uh, first question, like I say, Patrick Sustain the second, right? Mm-hmm. So, PS2. So, who idea was it to, uh, instead of you saying Patrick Sustain Jr., you went to PS2? And that, that's, that's swaggy. That's swaggy. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah. Who idea was that? Were you born Shit. with that? Uh, nah. It, start, it started in high school. Uh, one of my friends, my high school teammates, uh, you know, we was walking around school one day and uh, he just came up to me and was like, what's up, PS2? And I was like, what'd that mean? And he was like, Patrick Tan the second. At first I was thinking of the video game PS2 right. or like, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Uh-huh. And he he explained it like, Patrick Sertan the second, PS2, and all got like some correlation to it. So since then I stuck with it. And that's why I rode with number two. That's why I chose with number two. Mm-hmm. And I just think it got a pretty dope, dope effect to my yeah. name. So And you put the Roman numeral uh-huh. numbers on it. Man, that's way, yeah. So that's how that's how it started. Yeah, yeah. So before that you were Patrick Sertain Jr. or Pat Jr. What Yeah, Pat Jr. Pat the second. Yeah. Whatever you call it, how yeah. do you see it? What 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 did Pop say when he started feeling seeing that swag? Did, did it hit him different? Was he I know he wasn't used to it. Nah, nah, nah. It was it was different. Uh cause you know, everybody got certain nicknames, but that one like came out the dome and it's it's simple, but it's like it's a dope nickname because it all makes sense when you think about it. So he was all into it. Uh they call him PS1 now. <laughs> That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. PS1, PS2, yeah, PS3. I mean, straight up. Shit. Hey, we're going to we go we're going to nominate Patrick. Patrick best C nickname. and Patrick Jr. Best nickname <laughs> in the league, baby. Best PS2, nick- you know it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And so if y'all don't know, uh, Lil Pat got some uh, some New Orleans um, blood in you, right? Yeah, yeah. He wasn't born there. Nah. He was born in Florida. So mm-hmm. you're a certified Florida boy. Yeah, yeah. So you're a Florida, 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 hey, Florida boy. Make that be known. Now, Florida, I'm a Florida boy. boy. But he got the New Orleans roots, you know, mom and dad born in New Orleans. Yeah. What you know, what, 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 how much time you spend in New Orleans? What you know about New Orleans culture and stuff? Yeah, yeah. I'll I be down there um, occasionally. Mm-hmm. Um, you travel like during the summer, during the spring. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I go to Mardi Gras. Uh, what you need to know about New Orleans is the people dope. You know, they got their accent, their Creole accent. It got a little Cajun flavor to it. Uh, mm-hmm. The food off the chain. Cajun food, we got shrimp po' boys, jambalaya, Ooh. gumbo. Yeah, it's, it's, and, and just the culture around it is like a lot of sites that you can see and visit, which makes it like a great place. Yeah. And like just um, the time that you spent there, you're going to realize that the culture is way different from any Wherever you at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a dope culture. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of great people over there. Um, just the food, the people. Ain't no the events like Mardi mm-hmm. Gras. That's that's what set the uh, city off. So right, the like way they dance, like you say, uh-huh. the food they eat, the different culture, man. I, I played with a few people, man. Uh, was born in New Orleans or Louisiana, went to LSU and stuff like that, that nature. Um, so uh, so now y'all got a different coach. You got uh, Sean Payton, and what you got Vance Joseph as the as the defensive coordinator. Yeah. Um, what do you know about Sean or Vance? What do you expect from them? And what do you think, man? Did you have yeah. a chance to talk with any of them yet? Uh, I spoke with Vance before he got the job uh, at the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah? Yeah, okay. we had a good conversation. Mm-hmm. But I heard nothing but great things uh, about him right. from around the league. So, you know, I'm excited to work with him. Because he was at? He was at Arizona. Arizona, right. Okay, okay. Then, uh, uh-huh. he, was, he was actually a Broncos head coach mm-hmm. years prior. So obviously he got that experience down in Denver, but uh, yeah, he's a great coach from what I heard. The players coach, that's what all you like. look for as a player. That's so what we like that's yeah, what yeah, we yeah. Like. The players coach, and uh, I'm looking forward to work with him and uh, Sean. Mm-hmm. I talked to him recently uh, when I was up there uh, this past week. You know, we spoke a lot. 
Um, obviously, one of the best to do it in the league. Right. Um, he got back into coaching, but he's going to make the same impact that he had before when he was in the league. So right. looking forward to work with him. You know, his resume is off the charts. Right. Got some Super Bowls on his belt. Um, <laughs> great coaching. So you quarterback, man. I'm a big fan of Russell Wilson. I think he's obviously he's a Super Bowl quarterback. He plays at a high level. Um, you know, people may judge him off the field for whatever reasons and stuff like that. But I'm a big fan of him. D despite all the criticism and everything he went through this year, take up for him. What, 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 what are we going to see different in him? What you, what you think that people is missing yeah. that, uh, that you, you've learned about Russell Wilson quickly? First thing that jumped off, his work ethic. Like, he comes in daily with the same work ethic, same approach. He's probably going to work harder than anybody he's around. And that just builds all positive energy. And that's what you look for, like, in the quarterback. Right. And he a leader as well, too. Um, he gets the guys going. Mm -hmm. Straight positivity around him, no negativity. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he's just very diligent in his craft. You know, he don't take his craft lightly. That's what it looks like. You know, that's so, what it looks like. Uh, obviously, this year wasn't a year he wanted to have, but, you know, everybody got learning curves, different experiences. Um, through certain years throughout the league. Right. And, uh, you know, I just think that he's he's um, willing to bounce back, and I know he's going to bounce back. Right. It's about the type of dude he is. And he's a great dude as well, too. Right. Um, put his teammates first, good guy off the field, family first type of guy. Right. So, yeah, he's just a great dude all around. And, you know, he's going he's gonna to bounce back like I know he will. Um, but, you know, he's just a great player like how y'all seen before. Right. You know, it's just – one of those tough years, you know, you just can't. We all go yeah, through yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Everybody go through it. So, yeah, I heard it. Here first, man. Yeah. Russell Wilson. He ain't what y'all think, man. He way better than that. He gonna come back <laughs> strong and do his thing, man. We believe in you, Russell. Now, come on, show up for us, baby. Yeah. I don't know if you heard of it. I'm sure you heard of it. But are the players allowed to listen to Future in the locker room? <laughs> <laughs> in the new locker room? <laughs> I mean, we listen to it. Yeah. I mean, people gonna listen like Future. He got a lot of songs, like good songs and stuff. But right. just trying to know, have some courtesy, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's just different situation that yeah. you're dealing with. Uh, you know, people gonna listen to him, but you know, we keep it at a respectful level. Right. You know, obviously going on. Be disrespectful. You know, right? you, know you don't want to take touching. it to another level. You know, but right. uh, you know, probably, probably, people probably listen to it in their headphones. You know, singing it a little bit. That's about it. Right. So as you know. Now nah, I'm a track dad. Yeah, yeah. My daughter's a track star. She out there doing the thing, moving. <laughs> so as I'm looking at rankings, I'm I'm understanding this track stuff because I ain't got no clue about track. I yeah. never ran track. You know, you was on the national breaking four by one team. Mm -hmm. Not only you, but you y'all had three players, three runners from that four by one team go to the NFL. Yeah. Talk about that. How does that feel, man? What do y'all still talk? Y'all talk about it? Like, y'all be in the locker room like, boy, my four by one would have whooped any of y'all, you know? Oh, yeah. How did that How did that feel, man? Talk about that four by one. Shit. Man. Uh, them who, days, who, are that? Who, are the, who are the runners first? Uh, Yeah, Tyson Campbell, mm -hmm. Jaguars, mm. Anthony Schwartz, the Browns, and uh, Marco Wilson, the Cardinals. Oh, everybody went to the league. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Everybody went everybody, to the league. Everybody. Dang, that's crazy. Yeah, and we... We just set the tone like from the jump. Yeah. Um, our track coach, um, mm -hmm. Coach Barnes, you know, he he really like helped us with speed. Mm -hmm. You know, made sure we came in every day focused mm -hmm. on speed training. And uh, you know, we was just we was just rolling, man. Like it was at a time when we was rolling, like we just felt like we was unstoppable. Unstoppable. And we was just everything was consistent, everything was on cue in that relay. And then and Schwartz, like he was one, of, like probably the fastest dude in the country when he was running. Absolutely. Yeah, he was running like ten oh fives, ten flats, like right. crazy numbers. Mm -hmm. So uh, all we had to do was run, and Tyson was fast too. We was all fast, right? And we just did what we had to do. But uh, yeah, I ain't gonna take that. That's gonna be very like memorable when right. I look back on it. Cause, For sure, you know we all went to leave, but like just to be. Running track with each other and breaking times like that, you know, it's pretty, right? Pretty dope in the in the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like this ain't no just some local stuff. This is yeah. in the whole America. 
You yeah. know what I mean? So that got to yeah. be a great feeling. So Coach Barnes mm-hmm. was instrumental in helping you, helping y'all with y'all speed. Uh, look, they all ran track. They all made it to the lead. Like you yeah. know what I mean? You want track. an easy way to the lead? Track. Run some track, man. Track going definitely. What what you ran in the forty? Four three four. Four three four. See that? I ran a four five one. I ain't run track. He ran track. You see that? Yeah. So you know. What I mean? So we're gonna call what your coach. Put your coaching hat on. Uh-huh. Coach PS two. Yeah, yeah. Coach you PS2. Said PS2, Coach PS2, Coach Pat Jr. Because you had it all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to go with the swaggy name, Coach Pat, Ju- Coach PS2. So, Coach PS2, put your hat on. Yep. What are the Denver Broncos draft needs? Draft, draft needs. is coming up. What are the draft needs? What you think can help elevate the team to another level? I think we could always, we could always build, you know, young. Uh, right. I don't, I mean, I, I don't know what they. I mean, I've been hearing like O line. Uh, need some O line help. Probably get some young defenders, some core defenders around. Right. And that's really it, man. We said everywhere else for real. Running back, receiver, quarterback, secondary linebackers, D line, edge. I just think we got a solid overall team, really. And uh, right. we probably got a couple spots where we can improve on, but we just all solid in right. general. Uh, as a team, I just think that this year, and we we had some key guys go down with injury, right, right. last year, mm-hmm. and that that's, that was sort of a that blow, hurts, right? Because you know you gotta expect other guys to come in and get some reps. Right. And, you know, experience is key in the league, and uh, when you lose like players like that, uh, big time players with a lot of experience, you know it it takes a lot. You know you gotta start from scratch in a way, right? But uh, we. We expect to get those guys back, you know, and just start on the road. So, mm-hmm. but you, you, you seem like you got some experience. I guess probably being around pops a lot about coaching, because yeah, yeah. You say O line, you know, maybe D line. Um, that's the core of the team. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If you if you could dominate up front, I mean, that's a recipe for winning the game easy. So yeah, I mean, I could see that too. You know what I mean? And then help Russell out. Probably be, uh, but it'd be interesting. We'll see. I think they said they wanted an explosive receiver too. So. I don't know. You know, you got Jerry Judy. Who do, who did you expect, or who do you think was going to draft you? You ended up at the twelfth pick, which yeah. which was the ninth ninth pick. Ninth pick or yeah. ninth pick, which was later than we thought, right? Uh, did you have I an mean, idea? Did you have calls or extra I time thought, or somebody? I thought I was going to go to Dallas. Dallas for really? the jump. Yeah, yeah. What pick? Uh, what pick they had? The tenth. Tenth. Yeah. Then uh, uh huh. Yeah, that whole draft was crazy. <laughs> I never like you see you see it on TV, but when you actually go through it, the experience is like like I was on the phone with my agent, like, who was it? The day of the draft. And he was like telling me moves certain teams may make. I already knew because the Panthers needed a corner. I knew the Panthers were gonna go uh JC, JC Horn. You knew that and, already. Yeah, yeah. My agent was telling me. And uh So that didn't make you feel a certain way, like, dang, another corner going in front of me, man. Yeah, you got a chip on your shoulder because obviously yeah. you want to be first. Right. right. Uh, but and you play with that chip. Yeah, yeah. You you always want to have that <laughs> that edge. But right, right. You know it all worked out in both of our favors. So um, mm-hmm. then Denver, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't really get familiar with them. I never talked to them. I I just wasn't familiar with them at all. And I thought, nah, Denver not gonna pick me. I thought they was gonna go like QB or something. Then Dallas, mm-hmm. Dallas was like, okay, that's the team. That's where I'm going. Mm-hmm. And uh, it just so happened, like after JC got picked, I was like, okay, Dallas, let me get let me get my Cowboys hat on, <laughs> let me get my Cowboys mode right. whatsoever. But next thing you know, it was a Denver area code, and then I was like, Denver caller. So I answered. George Payne was on the other line. He's telling me, you know, uh, how excited they are having me, and uh, that you're gonna be a Bronco. And I was happy, you know, crying whatsoever, but I was still surprised because, like, I just never knew it was going to be Denver. Never going to be Denver. Yeah, so it's just crazy how the draft work. You know, you never know where you might end up, Mm -hmm. no matter where you may go beforehand. But, you know, it ended up working in our favor, so in my favor. So it ended up working good. Y'all got a a great player, y'all. You better be happy he lasted that long, man. Uh Got a great player. Your first time making the Pro Bowl. Right? Yep. Or did you make it last year? First time. First time yeah. making the Pro Bowl. 
So you get the Pro Bowl nod nah, first, right? They tell you a Pro Bowl first. Did mm-hmm. you know about All Pro at that time? You being mm-hmm. young player, because mm-hmm. I didn't know in my second year what nah, the hell nah. is All Pro. But now nah, nowadays they say All Pro more significant. No, it did. Yeah, it yeah, always it's been that way. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's a more serious vote. Yeah, it's more serious a, vote. Right. So All Pro. So all, you really want All Pro. pro. Right. That's 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 why I heard around the league. But either way, both accolades is. It's huge. So when did you, you found out you made the Pro Bowl, you was happy. Mm-hmm. Now you found out you made all pro. Did it both feel the same or you had to learn like, this one is uh, better first, you know what I mean? That all pro was a little bit more little special. Different. That's insane. It's AP a little different. All pro AP all pro. That's, that's, that's the title. Like, yeah. Pro Bowl, yeah, Pro Bowl, you can have a Pro Bowl, but like, all pro is like top notch. Right. Yeah. That's what you want. Yeah, yeah. Pro Bowl, cool, but go for the all pro, man. We don't get to see, I personally don't get to see you, who you hang out with and all that stuff uh-huh. over the years and stuff. Tell me uh, some of the athletes over the years that you're close with, that, that you're kicking with, that you, that's my boy right there. Uh, obviously, my guys from high school. Mm-hmm. The 4 by one team? Yeah, those dudes. <laughs> I still getting connect with them. That's what's up. Uh, mm-hmm. Dudes on the team, uh, Brian Burns. Some of them boys, Lil Zant, you mm-hmm. know, still. Shout Tyler. out to Lil Zant. Lil Zant, you know, <laughs> my boy. Uh, yeah, I talked to a few guys around the league, you know, obviously back at home, around the crib, you know, Jew, some of my Alabama guys, right. Waddle. Uh, I was going to ask you about it. What about Diggs? I don't even know. Diggs. That, that's Diggs. y'all playing that corner, you know what yeah, I mean? Me and Diggs, cool, we tight. Uh, I ain't realize. Boom, y'all were gonna make it to the league and be killing the league like this yeah. together. You know what I mean? So that's a that's that's big time right there too. Diggs, Smitty, Waddle. Yeah. Jew, you know, them boys we still stay connected. Yeah. Rugs, still stay connected, you know. So Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of dudes that I'm, you know, mm-hmm. still tight with. So All right, yeah. So that's good, man. Keep that connection. A lot of people, man, don't keep them connections, especially when it's time to keep it. So uh, so keep that going, man. That's a that's a good thing. Did you ever interview with the Patriots and Bill Belichick? No, I haven't. I haven't. Yeah, did you ever get that nah, interview? Nah, nah, nah. Damn, I, I wait, wouldn't. Wait, wait. No, no, no. I think I interviewed with someone from there with a DB coach. Uh-huh. I interviewed with Bill. It was, okay. It was, uh, it was during that time because we ain't, we didn't do uh we didn't get to visit the facility because of COVID. All right, no, it's so different. So we did it on Zoom, Zoom and stuff. Okay. So, yeah, we we so, um. Man. I think I chopped it up with their DB coach. Mm-hmm. And we chopped it up for a little minute. They got it tight over there, huh? Yeah, they got it tight, boy. <laughs> they don't play, boy. Yeah, they, they don't, don't play. play, boy. Yeah. They, boy, they, they, it's not a player's coach. Uh-huh. So. You got to go into this. Woo, it's like under under army. It's army. Like, but I ain't going to get into that. Y'all always say I'm talking about the Patriots and all this. So I ain't going to get into that. You know what I mean? Yeah. When, how did you find out? And Pops got the Florida State job. Shit, I found out we talked on the phone during the season, like the second last game when he was with the Dolphins. He was like, Yeah, Florida State, like, interested in me. And I was like, Oh, word. Mm-hmm. Shoot. And he was like, Yeah, they want me to be their DB coach. And I was like, You gonna take it? And he was still unsure at the time, um, because obviously he he loved the NFL, he loved coaching the league, coaching those guys. By by the time the season ended, um, we was on the phone chatting it up again. He was like, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to take the job. I was like, yeah. It's like, that's a good position. Because um, he he always been a leader, a young man. So right. when when he you know took that role, that's what he wanted to be, a leader, a young man, not just uh, a position coach, not just a football coach. He right. just wanted to see them boys succeed, see young uh, boys succeed and make it to that next level, right. you know, to feed their family and stuff. So, you know, that's what he always wanted to do. So... I was like, you know, you, that's what you do. You know, you made for it, you built for it. Um, and yeah, he just took the job and now he's doing good thing. And now he's on the recruiting trail. Right. Yeah, the <laughs> really recruiting did. trail. <laughs> what you're saying that uh, he communicated that with you directly. So he was talking back and forth. So y'all relationship is super tight. You know yeah. what I mean? Unbroken. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Blood in, blood out, man. That's, that's, I love it, man. I love seeing your family, your mom, your dad, all y'all together, man. It's a beautiful thing. Make sure y'all uh, keep that going. You know, yeah. I know uh, for sure parents won't never let that down. Right now, right now, today, who's the best cornerback in the league? Best cornerback? Me. 
You? Yeah. Hey, PS2, hey, do y'all disagree? I wouldn't disagree. Best in the league. Man, I was watching you this year, man. You know, I watch you all the time, obviously. It's like you've been to a camp that I threw and I ain't throwing, you know what I mean? Like, kudos mm-hmm. to you. Like, your your technique is stupendous. Your, uh, you, you know, like you play with leverage. You got great eyes. Yeah. You, uh, you know, great ball skills. This is probably more underrated than they give you credit for. Mm-hmm. Um, you got all the tools in the box. We're yeah. ready to do anything, you know what I mean? So where 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 where, where would you say you learned most of your technique and, and all those things? You know, me and Pops had a talk a couple of times about technique and stuff uh-huh. like that, you know what I mean? I stand by experience. Uh Saban, Alabama. Saban helped, Saban helped a lot. Mm-hmm. Obviously my dad. Right. Was his dad. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But you also learn a lot from yourself through experience, like right. going against certain guys, competition level and you learn different techniques you could use to your advantage. Right. You know, you I learned over the years that I used to motor a lot. Motor off in um, press technique? Yeah, yeah, sometimes right. I motor, but I was like, that's not my game. Right, you big. Cause, yeah, I'm a big corner. You big guy, you get the hands on yeah, immediately. Yeah, yeah. So, mm-hmm. uh, But learned- what about when, cause this is what I hated when I played corner. Mm-hmm. I hate when I'm in press and then it's the Z cornerback and he from right here all the way back to the pitcher back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, still, you still motor right there or you, are you, still, you, I try, are you stay I flat? To, I still try to stay flat. You know, because at the end of the day, I want to create contact at the line. You right. know, disrupt their timing. And, you know, I want to win that line of scrimmage. You know, win that one-on-one within the first five. Because that's what, that's what really, like, dictates the play, dictates the route. Like, what you do within the first five yards. And y'all try to use that to my advantage by staying physical, staying square. And, you know, just using using my length, you know, to my advantage. And, you know, you just want to, you just want to sort of, like, Win that battle within the first five yards. Disrupt the timing, disrupt the route. Um, yeah, that's that's where you gotta win that. I feel like impress. So I don't like I motor before, but then I learned that the more you disrupt the receiver throughout the line, that disrupts the whole timing of the play. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Especially the quarterback keyed in on him is is tough. Right. With a, with a guy like and they and, and they teach us that, but my hard headed self always had a problem with that concept. You know, it works, and that's the way you do it. Uh-huh. But the coach ain't saying at the end of that, get the ball, or where the ball at. You know what I mean? Because you disrupt the timing. Now the ball going all over the place. I just want to play hop. I, you know what? I want it to be perfect timing because I'm going to go right in there perfectly and step in and, and take the ball. Now that's what you do, though. Yeah, but, but it's like I always had to fight with my coaches because – yeah. They want to disrupt the timing, which I get it, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. I'm finna do something totally different, coach, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And boy, we used to be going at it, you know what I mean? But like I say, it's like you play with good leverage, like at the Pro Bowl, you made the pick, like, you know what I mean? Like, people don't, I, I try to preach this, you know, people I talk to and stuff and I worked out with, people don't understand that leverage and, and the cushion and, and uh, yeah. you know what I mean? And having all the tools in the box, like, like that one play when it was praising you when you, the guy, the receiver did a, a comeback and then you did a speed turn. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? That's part of having all your tools in the in the mm-hmm. box. You know, and I don't, you know, I you know, I practice that a lot. Hips do that easily. But I got one play for you, you know what I mean? And we're gonna we're gonna we're in the coaching. We're in Coach Zunt zone right now, yeah, all right? Yeah. Coach yeah. Zunt. So the one play Adams got you on, which he didn't get many, many. I know you know what you're talking about, the corner route, right? Mm-hmm. After you evaluated that, what do you see or what do you think? You did wrong. Cause so I I'll tell you for this, uh I, it was really the coaches. The coaches did a great job drawing it up. Cause throughout the game, that's all they running was high crosses. Mm-hmm. Crosses and crosses, crosses. And you know, once I got a key on it, I started like driving on the crosses kind of throughout the game. You know, just realizing what's coming, the concept, the leverage, the depth, uh, they splits. Yeah, so I throughout the game they kept on running, they kept on running it. Um you know, they just completed some passes and, and, you know, they kept on running and I got a, a hand on it. I just kept on driving it, kept on driving it, kept on doing the same thing. And uh, so in that overtime, the first first two plays they had um, good game and yardage. Um, then they got in uh, in our territory. Mm-hmm. They got in the fringe area, the fringe zone, what we call it. Uh, right. where they like to take shots. Right. I looked at the split. It was the same split that they've been running out of. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was like a dose look, tight split. Rock you to sleep a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was playing outside shade. Obviously, that's because that's my leverage. Right. 
He so, had great leverage. Great leverage. He had great leverage. Should have kept it. But uh, he ran it. He he sold it like he was doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. So me, uh, we was like cover nine, cover three match mm -hmm. whatsoever. And uh, I drove it. I drove the crosser. He was gone. But I look back. I peeked. I realized that his tempo was different because mm -hmm. he was selling it, but he wasn't selling like how he, how he was. That's when he sort of was selling that. He was tempoing it out based on me. And then he popped back out. He stemmed it back vertical, mm -hmm. then ran the corner. And I just think that it was so far them just having the key on us, understand what we was doing, mm -hmm. uh, how we was playing that route. And I was driving that route throughout the right. whole game. And you know they just they just made a good call, uh, mm -hmm. a perfect call in the situation. Because sometimes, perfect call could be the perfect defense. Sometimes, right. and yeah, they, that's how they got me. Right. And, uh, well, here, here's my coaching point. This is what I saw, and it's you explaining exactly what I saw. Yeah. Right. So you was kind of you had great leverage and everything. You, you cushion probably was you know give or take a little close or not. But you was cheating for that inside route, like he was going, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But what you didn't do was always have yourself available for all your tools. Yeah. So that was the perfect time. Like you say, you they lured you to sleep with the crossing route. Mm -hmm. But you was right there. You have enough leverage to speed turn. Yeah. Like you did when you did the uh, comeback route. Speed turn. Boom, they're right there. But I like how you play because a lot of people don't understand that, that NFL, you throw the ball. Most of the passes are inside routes. Mm -hmm. So I got a lot of picks, you know, doing just what you did, going right. inside, going right in front of them. You did it at the Pro Bowl, I think, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah, so, you know, it happens, you know what I mean? Um, you ain't going to get him too many times, you know what I mean? But uh, nah. he got all the tools in the box. That was one play. He uh, didn't give himself opportunity to use the tools, you know what I mean? But uh, other than that, man, this man is uh, lights out. You know what I mean? Got a total of six picks so far, right? Yeah, six. Second year. I got I got to raise three. it up some. I had three. My second year. Three? Yeah. Oh, okay. How, how many you drop? I ain't going to lie. It was like, it was some games where I ain't going to lie to your team wasn't even like looking my way. Yeah, that's, that's, hey, that's, that's, that's the part of that's, you being a top, top corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I play a game. And you had no been, looks. I'm talking about, I'm at the third quarter, halfway through. No look, then boom, they just throw something quick. They just like kind of lure you to sleep. So you gotta always yeah, watch out for that. Dude. And it makes it harder for people like me and you. You know, other cornerbacks might get 10 attempts mm -hmm. a game. Well, I'm only gonna get three, you only gonna get three because they scared of, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you gotta you gotta be aware of all that stuff, you know what I mean? And um, like you say, don't get lured to sleep, man. Keep going. Yeah. But what's the overall goal of of a PS2 career as a Cornerback, you know, in the NFL, like, like, like you say, uh, me, I had two picks, I had three picks my second year. I didn't understand a Pro Bowl, I didn't understand All Pro, I didn't mm -hmm. understand Hall of Fame. I had to learn I was going, you know mm -hmm. what I mean. So social media wasn't out, so I didn't even know how yeah. big it could get. So you know what, what, what is, what does a uh, PS2 want for his career when he's done? Uh. I want to be known as one of the best or not the best, you know. So mm -hmm. um, that's what I'm striving for. Obviously, you want to get in that in that Hall of Fame, but I want to win like me some Super Bowls. Um, I want to win. Boy, that Super Bowl lit, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, yeah, you got, you got. A, how many you got? I got two. I, but I went three times. But I got two. Oh, you got but two. But I went so. when I was so young, so it was like yeah. I didn't get to experience it how I would have experienced if I went later on. So, yeah, but whatever, you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, two a good number. Yeah, two. Because it's, it's tough. Good. It's tough to tough to come by. I had the cheat code. I had the cheat code. I had Tom Brady. You know what I mean? Yeah, he got. He had Tom. And Bill had Tom. Tom I yeah, had Tom. Yeah, we yeah. all had Tom. And we had the defense too. Yeah. One because of Bill, it was because of us, Rodney, <laughs> Willie. You know what I mean? We went out and did yeah. our thing. You know what I mean? Bill, I ain't giving you the credit. They can give you the credit. I ain't give you none. So PS2, man, you want to win the Super Bowl. You want to go out and own as one of the best, if not the best. And, um, you know, give a, hey, give us a shout out, man. We're on the way out. All the interceptions. Salute us on the way out. Man. All the interceptions. You know what I mean? Big dogs on. You know, in the doing this thing. Dude's here. Uh, put him in the Hall of Fame if you need it. Put his Hall of Fame resume up. Man. 
mean, but yeah, we out, OG, baby. you know, appreciate what you having me. Said. Yep. Salute.